Hello everyone. The next thing that we're going to look at in the file menu is the new from template. That is the second element in the file menu. Now this may be a little bit more of an advanced feature. Of course I'm just doing an introduction to each one of these tools to show y'all what the tool does. You don't have to worry about um, trying to know this tool or what this feature does inside and out if you're just a beginner just kind of stay along with me this new from template let me I'm gonna explain a little more in this one but let me show you what it does if we are going to um, say you're going to create monograms for uh, towels or baby blankets or shirts or, or whatever and you want to do this for friends, family, and maybe make a little bit of money off of it. When we create our monogram, there's going to be some time involved. And then you're going to have to edit all of the object properties on the back end of the, uh, the monogram. Your pull compensation, okay, your underlay, geez, your density, the fabric type, the background, the color the layout there are a lot of things that you will have to edit to get your monogram exactly the way you want it after you've done this for the first time however you don't want to go back and reinvent the wheel over and over and over well that's what templates are for so let me show you if you had already created the perfect monogram with all of those properties edited and plugged in exactly the way that you wanted them you would start a new document this way you would hit file and instead of new we would go new from template you click the new from template button and a dialog box will show up now right now we only have one template the default template that came installed with your Bernina software and that's called normal when you click the little drop down menu as you create your own custom templates and you save them when we open from template there'll be a whole bunch of them listed here and you can see some of the things that they save fabric settings okay um, and the background well I'm gonna go ahead and quickly create a template and then we're gonna reopen one so I can show you exactly how this feature works now you can try to follow along and do this yourself on your computer but let me tell you if you're new you may not be able to keep up don't get frustrated just kind of enjoy uh, the ride so to speak so you can see what the software does okay so what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to create a monogram you would just click the monogram box let me do an A, a B, and a C. Now this is the anniversary font. I want to create more of a masculine logo, so I'm going to do maybe, uh, let me just pick one, the Bodoni. Okay, and you can see this is more masculine. It has the serifs on it. It has some thin lines. So this might not be so good for like a terry cloth towel. Of course, there's a way for us to fatten up these lines. When in doubt, fatten it up. I'm gonna change the layout. This little drop down box will, will allow us to change the layout. Maybe something like this here. That is a, a standard, maybe not the most popular type of monogram layout, but it is a standard monogram layout okay and the letter height is uh, one inch let's do 2.0 on the letter height and see what we've got now that makes it pretty darn big right there see that's filling up your oval hoop maybe I'm gonna come down to 1.5 okay and as you can see you when you do this for yourself you may find yourself spending uh, 30 minutes 45 minutes an hour just designing um, a really nice monogram and you're gonna save that as a template now let me point out something and let me hold on let me change the color to something I like maybe a steel blue something like this here now let me point something out as we're designing this 
Uh, everything looks good except you see this part of the C? This fat part of the C? That's just a real wide satin stitch right there. That's really not going to be acceptable for a terry cloth towel because this is going to get caught on things and pull apart and fray and after a few washes and a little bit of use it's not going to look good even though it looks good on the screen right there so I'm gonna have to go into the properties over here and under fill stitch instead of this being a um, just a regular satin stitch I'm gonna change it to a satin special or split satin as we call it in the industry let me hit the apply now watch the C you see how it applied a split satin stitch to areas thick areas of the design this is so your quality is good and consistent now let's go to effects I'm gonna to go to the effects page and I'm gonna change my underlays and I'm gonna change my pull compensations these are things that you're going to learn about later just follow along first I'm going to lay down a nice double zigzag okay and then I'm going to finish up with an edge walk uh, stitch for my underlay. I'm also going to go in here and I need to adjust my pull compensation because that's going to make, you see these thin parts of the letters? Although they look really nice on the screen, when you put this on a terry cloth towel, these are going to kind of get lost. So we have a drop down menu of the most basic settings. I'm going to adjust mine manually to 0 .800 and see what happens. See how everything fattened up? See how everything beefed up? Got fat? That's good. Remember, when in doubt, fatten it up. <laughs> okay, so I've made a lot of changes. I'm also going to, I don't want to look at the hoop, I'm, so I'm going to disengage the hoop and under design background, okay design background I'm going to change the background from just the plain gray background that they that Bernina gives you by default and I'm gonna to switch to a fabric background and let's see there's something in here that looks like toweling there we go let me hit apply okay and now it looks like toweling so now say 20 30 45 minutes have went by and you finally got the monogram dialed in to where you want it it's time to save it as a template because the next time you want to open and make one of these monogram of course with different letters for a different person all you're gonna have to do is open from template change the letters and save that dude everything else on the back end has been has been saved as a template so we don't have to reinvent that wheel again so let me go ahead and go to file let me do a save as okay and of course I do not want to save in fabrics so I'm going to oh well it, it doesn't matter where it starts off because when you do a save as and we click here and we're gonna go down and save it as a template it's gonna switch the folder to the template folder don't save a template anywhere but the default template folder because then it won't know where it's at when you go to open from template so I'm gonna save this as monogram one towel and you'll see it says AMT 70 that's going to be a template so let me save that save boom done okay I've saved that I can send it to my machine and say a few weeks have gone by and here you are ready somebody else wants one. Oh, I saw that monogram that you did for Bill could I get George one too well sure sure I can do that let me just uh, go to file and new from template and I'll just click this dialog box right here and let me do a monogram one towel okay boom now all you have to do everything's done we just have to do one for Bill so all you would have to do is change these letters here and you're done and that's templates